This week, we got new insight into wild bee populations and the economic impact they have on our crops. The study, published Tuesday in the journal Nature Communications, was co-authored by a Vermont professor. I spoke with him about what the study found and what that means for our bee populations. When many of us think about the insects that pollinate our crops, the honeybee is probably the first one to come to mind. But while it's the most famous, it isn't a farmer's only valuable asset. Wild bees do just as much as work as honeybees do. They're equally valuable to our food system as honeybees, and that was a surprisingly big figure for us. Taylor Ricketts is the co-author of a new study, which is one of the largest on bee pollination to date. About two-thirds of the world's most important crops benefit from busy bees. And wild bee pollination is becoming increasingly important as the managed honeybee populations grow more unstable. Uh, bees, all kinds of bees are still in decline in this country, in Vermont, and worldwide. Which could ultimately mean a decline in farmers' profits. The study found that wild bees contributed about $3,000 per hectare to the production of the crops studied, about on par with honeybees. But it also found that only 2% of wild bee species pollinate 80% of bee-pollinated crops worldwide. And those are the most common wild bees, like bumblebees, not the threatened species. But Ricketts says we can't assume that those species will always be the important ones. Diversity gives resilience to a system, so no investment manager would advise you to have just one stock. You have multiple stocks and that gives a stable flow of income. Same thing for the natural world. A lot of different diversities of species give stable pollination services over time. The study spanned five continents, the Americas, Europe, Asia, and Africa. Scientists in Africa are already working on a way to make sure that their wild bee population doesn't die out. They're trying to breed a stronger, more resilient bee. Ricketts says while such a bee could help struggling farmers, it may not be the best solution. I think it's just more sensible and cheaper and more straightforward just to keep good habitats around our farms for the bees we have. He says some people are now looking at other options, like trying to cultivate nests of native bees to pollinate their fields as an alternative to honeybees. Our farmers markets would look really different if Vermont didn't have its pollinators. Also outlined bee friendly practices for gardeners. So if you want to read that, we're going to have a link with our story on our website.